hit it. You ready? We are the Jurgis family of four. We live the RV life on the ultimate tour. Oh, that's all the time we had. That's all we got. To get that one. Caleb and Tiff inspired us to come up at least with something. Although we had it, we've driven over 100 hours in the last 10 weeks. We didn't come up with a song till now. Yeah, we got in like a good Harry Potter series and other stuff (laughs) that our girls enjoyed as well. (laughs) Guys, uh, we're excited for this next section because we're getting into fifth wheel toy haulers here. You know, we might be a little biased because we kind of think they're the best. Yeah, that's what we're currently living in. That's what we started in on the East Coast with our family of four. And uh, you're going to learn a lot of things. You might have questions about all stuff. If anything, text RV to 46642, especially as you see these models come up. Yeah, last chance to get these great deals, guys. And in fact, let's look at one of these great deals right now. Let's oh, go ahead and take yeah. it away. And here we go, folks. Let's talk a little bit about some fifth wheel toy haulers. This right here is a 2021 Rogue Armored 351 G2. And as you can see, and I've talked about this before, one of my favorite parts about toy haulers, folks, is this right here, and that is the party deck. I love the fact that you get more real estate, that you get more usable square footage, thanks to the fact the deck can drop down, everyone can hang out here, you have the rail system, this one has steps that come with it, so it's nice and easy to just get right on and off the deck. And of course, as you can see, you can enter right inside the RV. We also have a screen system, so that way you can drop that down and uh, kind of have a little bit of separation, make sure you're keeping the bugs and everything else out. Uh, But this is a fantastic fifth wheel, great toy hauler. We'll take a look in just a second. You'll see this one has a 13 foot garage. Now, again, if you're loading up your toys, it is nice and simple to just have them come right up. Obviously, we'll drop the cables, drop it down to the ground. And also, this system right here, the more ride system, folks, this whole entire uh, railing system takes about a minute to set up. I- I'm telling you, it's super quick and easy. You have the casters all the way around, so it just rolls up nice and smooth. As we take a step inside the 13-foot garage, what you'll notice about this one that's kind of unique, and there's a couple different things, but of course, we have our bed here, which is something you would probably expect, right, o- over our rollover sofas. But also, if you take a look, this one has a secondary bunk right over here. Now, it's kind of cool because it's multifunctional. You can have it as storage if you want to use it as storage. Or again, there is a mattress up there. You can flip that down and use it as a bunk. And when you're using it as storage or it's not in use, you can push it up just like so, right? And then when you need to use it, need to get up there, you just pull this down, nice and simple, boom. And now you have that extra sleeping capacity. Now these are all manual beds. So this one, you know, same thing. You have the pulls here, you have a pull here. Can do some pull-ups, ah, no, just kidding, don't do that. But (laughs) you can see you'll pull it down on one side, pull it down on the other, that's how you drop the bed down. Um, Advantages and disadvantages, right? The the disadvantage, of course, is the fact that you you have to pull on it a little. You know, you have to have a little bit of strength uh, or use your weight to be able to pull that down. Not quite as easy as it would be if it's powered. The advantage is, honestly, it's going to be faster than your powered bed. You don't have to worry about locking anything up in place or pulling pins to drop it down. You literally pull one side, pull the other, and your bed is ready to go. Flip over sofas, a rollover sofas on both sides. Um, you can see, you know, for a rollover, in case you're wondering why they call it that, well, there you go, just like that. It rolls over. You'll have the legs that go down. You can do that on both sides, and now you have another queen bed right down underneath here, a full size bed, rather, I should say, uh, right down underneath you. Um, on, on both sides, I like that they did this. So, what you'll notice if I take this off, there's a window behind here. Most manufacturers just have the cover just like so, but what they did is they actually put some nets. So it makes it usable space. And I think that was actually a a pretty smart move um, on their behalf. Now for storage, they they will only store up against the wall. That's the other advantage of the power system is that you can have it store underneath the bed if you so choose. But because it is manual, they will only store on the wall. It does take a little bit of the width away. But again, folks, you still have that huge 13 foot garage back here. D-rings all the way around. You'll see you have nine D-rings, right? So plenty of D-rings to tie down whatever toys you may have secondary entrance right outside the garage. So again, you have plenty of entrances in here. You have the entrance here. We'll see when we go in the main living area entrance there. Plus you can enter on the party deck with these stairs. You'll just set those up right on the very end. A little gate you can slide open, walk uh, up and down those steps. Now, one of the things I always like to tell people folks is when it comes to toy haulers, bear in mind that you don't have to have toys to be able to utilize these. That's something that a lot of people, they just kind of write off toy haulers really quickly. And I'm, I'm, I'm here to urge you not to do that because 
The toy hauler has a ton of room back here for space, right? Or a ton of space for things. Um, I've seen so many large families that end up getting toy haulers because you can fit all of the bikes, you can fit the coolers, all of your big chairs, everything you need can fit in here, and you still have the capability of sleeping nine people, plus you get that big party deck off the back. And it gives you like a basically a bunk room in the back, but you know, it just, it's so versatile back here. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a large RV and you're not finding a bunk that works for you, check out some toy haulers. I bet you you'll find something that you like. Something that's very unique to this one, I haven't seen this before, but it's actually, I kind of like it. It's kind of smart. It's not the prettiest bathroom in the world, right? But our half bath back here um, is a wet bath. And if you're not familiar with the wet bath, what that means is your toilet, your sink, and your shower are all contained in one space. This is very common in like class B motorhomes. Um, you know, or, or sometimes like truck campers. If you've ever seen a truck camper, a wet bath is very common. Haven't seen it very often in a fifth wheel, but most of the time, this would just be a half bath. So you just have your sink, you would have your toilet, and that's it. And that's how most manufacturers run this area. But I love the fact that right here, you have the optional shower. So you have a curtain, you close it off, and here's the reason I like it, because if you're coming in, you're out riding, you're dirty, you're dusty, whatever, you come in, you can shower off before you go in the clean area, right? And all the dirt stays back in the garage. Or if you are just using it for family purposes, if you don't have toys, you have a second shower here. Toilet, sink, everything you need. Uh, so I actually think that was a pretty smart idea. Again, it's not the prettiest thing ever, but functionality-wise, I think it's a home run. Beautiful glass door, by the way. Um, you know, it's, it's not, uh, it has like a very little tint to it, if, if at all. Yeah, probably a slight tint, but you can see through, which I kind of like, so that again, if you have uh, family and you know, you have kids back there from the main living area, you're able to see back into the kids' space. Now, when we come up into the main living area, you can see here all the seating you have, beautiful kitchen space, nice and big. And the ceiling height is going to be high all the way throughout. Toy haulers tend to be pretty darn tall. Uh, you will notice you have the, again, the theater seating all along. So you have four seats here so everyone can sit down, hang out, kick your feet up, relax. Zebra shades all the way throughout. That's something that's unique to the Cherokee family, which uh, the Rogue is part of. I like the wall sconces too. You know, the little uh, nice aesthetic piece there. And plus, obviously, it provides some lighting. Entertainment center will be across the way. You'll have your... Uh, uh, well, a multimedia center right down underneath that. HDMI plugs there too. And you'll see all sorts of ways to charge your devices, which is great, plus a fireplace. Good storage. You can see that right up top and, you know, the pantry kind of scoots around to the side. So good storage space all the way throughout there. Love that. And then when we get into the kitchen itself, right? Uh, that's one of the things with toy haulers. A lot of times they don't have very functional kitchens, but I think this one works pretty well. You have good prep space right here, beautiful solid surface countertops. Over to this side, you have this uh, kind of black stainless steel sink, undermount of course, it's true solid surface and it's apron front. I really like that look pulling in from those residential trends. High rise faucet on here, you have a little soap dispenser, which I love. And then this one is something else that I wanna point out that we can't see, but this sticker is showing you folks, 150 gallon fresh water capacity. You wanna talk about being able to get out there? This one has a 150 gallon fresh tank, 80 gallon gray tank, and a 100 gallon black tank. I know more and more of us are trying to kind of get out and you know do some camping where you don't have, uh, or, you know boondocking if you will, where you don't have full hookups. This one has massive tanks to allow you to do that. Plus you have a generator on board, which we'll see a little bit, a generator inverter. So that you can power you know, your AC, your TV, everything you want without relying on the shore power, which is pretty cool. Good storage all the way throughout here too. I mean, you know, you can see a bank of three drawers, nice and big. Storage underneath the sink. Our sink top covers are down in there too. It does have the, uh, the sink top covers, so that's uh, nice and flush. And then massive storage over there for our pots and pans. Turn that on. Um, see the, the vent fan right up top, right? So very easy to use. The reason I like that is because when, you, uh, when you're cooking right here, you know, you can just flip that on. A lot of times they'll be like over here, right? In order to access them, you have to go around to be able to do it. But here you just whoop, flip the switch there, you're good to go. Um, over to the other side, you'll see a recessed three burner cooktop. You know, so this gives you additional prep space. You have an electrical outlet there. Right up top is a convection microwave oven. Big refrigerator, you can open that up for you just to kind of give you an idea. 
I think it's 14 cubic foot in this one, I want to say. Um, you know, double door fridge and freezer, big storage down below. Take a look at this huge drawer right down there, folks. Again, you know, you have so much space for pots, pans, and other large items in here. It's fantastic. Storage all the way across the top bar area. This is a big one for me. If you know uh, myself and my friend Chris, we like our bourbon. And right here, oh man, I can line it up. We can have some... Uh, some old ones in there, you know, we can have some old Forester, we can put in some Eagle Rare, a little bit of, you know, maybe some Maker's Mark, and uh, one of my favorites, you know, we can have Woodford, Bullet, oh man, the list goes on and on. Storage right in here, I love the linen closet in the bathroom itself, you can see that you'll definitely have plenty of room if you need to sit on the throne there. Over to the side, take a look at this, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this in an RV too. Uh, for the shower system, right? A little more residential here. You have the hand wand, you have the shower head, plus you have body sprays. That's something you just don't normally see in RVs and I think that's pretty cool. Makes a little bit nicer uh, showering experience, if you will. Come on into the bedroom here for me, Kev. Just wanna show everyone real quick before we take a look outside, you will see the bed does lift up right in the front. The control is underneath the top of the slide so you can lay that down. But you know, if you wanna sit up and read at night, that makes it nice and easy to do so. Big wardrobe space up here, plenty of shoe storage. You have the hanging rod going all the way across, full length mirror so you can make sure you're looking good before you head out for the day and that is on the barn style doors. Plus you have the dresser right there for all of your clothes. Then as we make our way outside here, so I'm gonna come down the stairs, you will see your more ride step above step system, very uh, solid. I mean, it, folks, I'm over 200 pounds, I can hop up and down on this thing like a bunny rabbit and it's not gonna flex. You'll notice your outside speakers if you wanna listen to some music. Uh, storage, I do wanna show you something real quick. I, I, they took some panels off, but I actually wanna take the opportunity to show you what's back here. And one of the things I love is how easy it is to get to all the components. You can see your furnace is there, water heater, your water pump, all that is behind a set of panels. And the coolest thing about that is you have super easy access because there's so much storage in that large garage. You're able to get in there and be able to work on it, right? You're not working in super close quarters, which I like. And coming around up front, I also wanna show you right here, uh, as I said, this one does have the 5500 uh, generator inverter right there. So that way you can power everything inside from AC, or, uh, yeah, AC to TV and everything else you need. Again, folks, this is the 2021 Rogue Armored 351 G2. This is just one of so many different toy hauler brands that we stock here in Camping World. If you're interested in a toy hauler, a fifth wheel, you want to know more about it, maybe you like this one, maybe you want something else, that's great. Again, we have over 80,000 factory fresh units on order, and all you need to do to get access to those is text the word FRESH to 46642. Bryce, I'm Nellie, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel, and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. And I am honored to be joining here at the Ultimate RV Show because you guys are on tour. You've been going with us all across the country. The Jurgies, mm -hmm. like you just saw. What's, What's up? up? It's Chris Young with Bryce, Nelly, and Indy. Hi. Yeah. Hey, sweet Hi, Dee Dee. Hey, baby. Don't. She has been the sweetest, greatest thing. <laughs> She's the and, best. I mean, how was she on the tour? She's been great. You know what? She's... Oh, yeah. You, what do you say? Hello. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say, say hello? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just the RV life, you know, it just calms them right down. Well, and, and Avi, you said before she was, 
Well, I, I know she just had a birthday, uh-huh. mm-hmm. turned three, but yeah. she's already been to all 50 states, right? She has. So she's been to 50 states and she's been to 18 now. Wow. I know. We're just hauling. That, you know, that's amazing. So we're, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we, we've had a chance to kind of follow you guys. We've seen what you've done. We've seen some of the giveaways. But yeah. one, one thing that we haven't had a chance to do is get questions from the viewers at the Ultimate RV Show. So we got some here. People have been asking these on our social media platforms. And if you can, please follow us on Instagram, uh, Instagram, Instagram. Twitter, (laughs) the the talk ticks, the chat snaps, the whole night, the book faces. (laughs) Now, the first one comes from Facebook, and this is Janet. Janet. Great question. She said, I RV with my family when I was a kid. And now that I have kids, I want to get an RV, but I feel like it's so different from 30 years ago. What tips do you have? Great question. I, I mean, I wouldn't know how it's different. My first time RVing was when we started. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but kids are adaptable. If you include yep. them, like I don't know how old her kids are, mm-hmm. but if they're old enough to make decisions and talk and help with that family decisions, incorporate them in that process, but involve them as you're talking about places to go. With Avalyn, now that she's three, and even at that young age, we talk about the places we're going to go. We'll read stories about it. Right. We'll get her excited. And then she's loving the journey. Yeah. That's one thing. Kids really do adapt. I mean, if you provide that life for them, that's the life they'll love. So, and another thing I was actually was thinking of 30 years ago, RV designs and all yeah. that stuff was a little bit different. Nowadays, technology. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing how our RVs are and how there's showers and toilets and right. sinks and everything <laughs> runs really well and you can have hot water and it's just, it's great. So it's, it's easier than I think it was 30 years ago. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Alyssa from Twitter wants to know, what is one item that is a must for camping with kids? Okay. Ooh. That's a toughie. That's, that is a hard one. That's I was thinking about this and I think... I think it's important to whatever your family or your kids love. Like for us, we like to paddleboard. So it's important for us to have some like water stuff. Or if your kids really love the outdoors and like to bike or something. Right. Like we have Avi's tricycle. You see her riding around here. It's important for them to have stuff they can play with outdoors. Mm -hmm. Ditch the iPad, grab something for outdoors. Love it. Yeah. Now, here's one that kind of I smiled. This is from Cameron on YouTube. Wants to know, if you could give some advice to your younger self before you started RVing, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I think I spent a lot of time worrying about what could go wrong and just know that stuff will. Right. But you'll always get through it. Like, my advice would be, we did just go for it, but it would be encouragement of just go for it before you worry as much as you're going to worry. Right. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. Yeah. And what was your favorite part of the Ultimate RV Show? Oof. National tour. Honestly, I'm just going to have to say the everybody here. The family, yeah. yeah. We they, have we, a family yeah. now. We have a whole new family that... I'm sorry, but we're not leaving. We're not <laughs> yeah, going yeah, no, anywhere. We're Ten now. weeks? No, nah, we'll do 11. <laughs> well, and my favorite part... Was Bryce took me back with the beatboxing to my days at Dougie Fresh and the Fat Boys. <laughs> it killed it, man. <laughs> Skills, well, you know, from I all of us know. here at, at Camping World again to RVing Outdoors, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, thank you guys for help making it Thanks, a success. Chris. We can't wait to continue this. And we got more coming up next. Hang on. So when we talk fifth wheel toy haulers, folks, we talk about some big rigs. And that's exactly what we have here with the Keystone Fusion 428. Now, you're going to need a one ton pickup for this bad boy, but trust me, you are going to love it. It's 100% worth it, folks. So many amazing features on this Fusion. I mean, starting right up front here with the Rotoflex Kingpin, that'll help prevent some of your bucking and chucking when you're starting and stopping your RV. Some storage right up front. Open this up, 5,500 watt generator so you can power everything inside, including three ACs. That's right. This one uses the Omni Chill system, which allows you to run all three ACs at the same time, which is something that very, very few manufacturers can actually pull off. You also have two 30 pound propane tanks right up front. Coming around to the side, you'll see your front garage storage here. That in command system will take a little bit of a more in-depth look at that when we get inside, but that basically allows you to control all your slides, lights, power awnings, everything from one single touch point. Several in- entrances into the 428, folks. We're Looking at three, you will have an entrance here, entrance into the garage, and an entrance into the party deck we'll see in just a moment. The door itself has your uh, thin shade in there, so it has a nice big window to allow a lot of light to come in. You can close that down if you want. Window up top, frameless windows, by the way, all the way throughout here, which is fantastic. It looks great, helps protect the seals because they're tucked behind the glass, and you can have them open while it's raining. 
Speaking of rain and covering up a little bit of sun, look at that power awning. You have the LED light strip on the barrel of that awning, so it's coming down on your campsite, which is great. And one of the things I love about the 428, folks, is this right here. This is something that's pretty tough to find on a toy hauler, uh, to be quite honest, and that is an outside kitchen. Now, outside TV, yeah, it's pretty common, right? But not very often do you get an outside kitchen, and I think they nailed it, because this right here, well, it's not on there, but this is a griddle, and I love having the griddle versus is a cooktop because I just don't use a cooktop a ton outside, right? I'll use a grill, I'll use a griddle. This right here, that griddle, you can, you know, cook lunch, breakfast, dinner, throw up some eggs, some pancakes, you know, a little bit of bacon. Mm, mm, mm. You'll, be, you'll be making everyone in the campsite jealous. Electrical outlet case, you need to plug anything else in, uh, what I like to call the beer fridge. I mean, obviously you can put whatever else you want in there, but if it's mine, I know what I'm tossing in there. And of course, as I mentioned, the TV, so everyone can sit right around here, hang out, watch TV. Now, I wanna drop down real quick and just point something out, and that is the auto level. Touch a button, folks, you have auto level on this one, levels itself out, making life super simple. Your spare is located under there, and you will notice, again, this is a big fifth wheel, folks, so we have a triple axle, as you would expect, and the great thing about that is it gives you more carrying capacity as well, so you have the space for all those toys. A couple speakers outside if you want to listen to some music. Garage entrance will be located here. Take a look at this, I love this one too. You get a big storage space right here in the back, which is pretty great, right? So, uh, you know, if you have some of those extra items, boom, there you go, which, you know, as we saw up front, it does, it's not necessarily the, uh, the largest storage up front there, but that's okay because you have the huge storage, or the big storage right back here, plus a huge storage in your 13-foot garage. Now, I talked about the third entrance, and that's this one right here. You have the grab handle, making it nice and easy to come up, and when I do come up here, you can see, of course, this one has the party deck, and folks, if you haven't lived the deck life, I'm telling you, you need to get out there and enjoy it. I love this. One of the cool things about this one too on the Fusion, you can see right up top, this one has a power awning, right? The Thule awning. So you touch a button, they have the awning come out, so you have the coverage sitting right here in some chairs, relaxing underneath this beautiful Arizona sun. And with that awning out, you'll be nice and comfy. You'll also see this one has the doors. I really like the doors over uh, some of the other systems they have out there just because they're smooth, they're easy to use. You don't have to worry about a zipper. You slide it open, you close it, you're good to go. You step into the gorgeous garage and folks, it just keeps on coming. I mean, you have so many amazing features. Uh, rollover sofas, you know, normally will of course go right there. Those will drop down up above is where the bed space is. So you have plenty of sleeping in here. Uh, essentially, you will have two large beds. You have windows on both sides for great cross ventilation. You can have, you know, uh, again, you can have people um, actually be back here. You know, that's the great thing about it. So many people, when it comes to toy haulers, think, you know, well, I don't have toys. But as we talked about when we were in the in the Rogue, in the Vengeance there, or the uh, the Rogue Armored folks, is that, you know, you don't necessarily have to have toys to, to utilize a toy hauler. This is a beautiful RV. You'll see that when we go inside. I mean, wonderful high-end amenities. You have three ACs. You have a ton of storage here. You get the extra square footage outside. And, you know, we talk about storage, you know, not wasting any space. Take a look at this, right? Open this up, drop it down. You have some nets right there. You know, I mean, again, they do a really good job of just uh, utilizing space. You'll also see that you have your ladder tucked away up here. That's one of those things that a lot of times, you know, with a lot of toy haulers, you don't have a space to put it. Up here you do. So that does make it a lot easier, uh, you know, to be able to, to access the your, your high areas. Making our way into the half bath. I mean, as you would expect, folks, we're talking, you know, porcelain bowl, right? Easy to clean. You have your sink right over to the side, actual mirrored medicine cabinet. Uh, you have your hand towel ring, and up top is a big, powerful fan. Uh, so that way, you know, it can. Well, you know what this is for. <laughs> Taking a look down below, very unique D-ring systems that they use in the Fusion. Most of them have actual rings. You can see here, it's a little bit more customizable because you have so many different points you can tie down to. And I like that because again, it's gonna be more customized to whatever you have back here. You'll also see the, uh, the glass door, which gives you a great shot inside. And come on in, folks, I'm telling you, this, right? You think toy hauler, 
Again, you write it off, you would be writing off all of this, and why would you possibly do that? There is so much space in here. Dual opposing slides in this living area give you a huge living space. And they were also able to help accomplish that by the way the kitchen is set up. It's very unique, but I like it, right? I, th I think it is still very functional. While it is out of the box, you have prep space here. You have prep space over there. Beautiful, solid surface countertops. Electrical outlets on both. If you need a coffee maker on one or you need to plug in an electric griddle inside, you can do that. Big undermount stainless steel sink with a high rise pull out faucet, gorgeous, gorgeous cabinetry. You can see that you have storage all around here. And Kevin, take a look up there for the people. That's right, you have a loft as well. And if you see, that is your second of three ACs. We have one in the garage, another one right up here. The other one we will see up front. So, and as I mentioned, folks, that is that Omni Chill system, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Right over here is the Norcold fridge freezer combo. This is 18 cubic foot of cold storage space. I mean, this is massive. The thing that's neat about this too is it does run off both propane and electric. So uh, you get an option of what power source you want. If you want to run it off electric, want to run it off the generator, you can. If you want to run it off propane, you can do that too. Cooktop and more prep space right over here. So again, even though it's not a traditional kitchen, it works and pantry space, right? My man Chris has to have a spot to put his, uh, his Girl Scout cookies. Man, oh man, you could have a whole troop worth of cookies right in there, folks. Take a look at all that. And I still have space for my bourbon up top. I'm telling you what, you have a light in there. Another thing I like, I always, I always like to bring this up. You'll notice the shelves don't come all the way forward and I think that's smart because if you wanna put like a Swiffer or a vacuum or a broom in there, you have the space to do it and it's tucked away, it's not hanging out. Again, beautiful cabinetry. I love the woodwork in here. Um, you have your entertainment center with a multimedia center. Of course, a DVD player in there, fireplace down below. And as you would expect, that is straight across from our large, gorgeous theater seating. You have the tray tables on both sides. So if you need you know, to have a little uh, beverage or you have a little snack, you can do so right there. These definitely kick up. And again, you can sit back, relax, and uh, have a good shot right to that TV. And you also can have cross conversation because you can see you have that midship sofa there as well. So we can be, you know, sitting here talking, hanging out, having a good convo. Uh, if you need a little bit of additional sleeping space, this is a trifold. So this folds out into uh, some additional sleeping space right there so that, again, you have more room for your guests. But bear in mind, I mean, you know, you have the loft up top for one. You have two beds in the back. You can have four. You could probably have another two, you know, right up here. So you're looking at seven people plus, you know, up front, you have your bed for nine. And this can sleep a lot of people in here. Uh, you will have the roller shades as you would expect. Uh, one of the things I always like to point out when we talk about toy haulers, folks, is take a look at the slide height, right? And what does a slide height do for you besides obviously make sure you're not gonna hit your head? It allows for larger windows in the slide box. And that's one of the things toy haulers, um, you know, really just take advantage of that most other brands or other, you know, fifth wheels can't do is have these huge slides with these huge windows. You know, all these open, so again, you get great cross ventilation in here too. Let's head up front real quick. I do just wanna make sure we hit the bathroom and bedroom. Kev, if you want to uh, point in there, I'll, I'll swing right around here. So we can take a look, you know, you have a nice big shower, one piece residential style shower, folks. And what do I mean by one piece? Well, you don't have any seams right here, nor do you have any seams toward the base. And so that way you have less chance for leaks. Six foot tall, I could be six three and still stand in here without having to duck down. The uh, hand wand is on a bar, so you can set that to the appropriate height. Porcelain bowl here in the main bath, you know, sink top, medicine cabinet, everything you would expect. Now we come into the bedroom, another TV right here. That's right, four TVs come standard in this one, folks. You have one in the bedroom, one in the main living area, one in the garage, and one outside. So uh, you can't tell me that, you know, there's not a, a TV for you to watch. Open this guy up. You can see right over here, wardrobe space. Uh, also, speaking of the TVs, this one does utilize the key TV, which is super simple and easy to hook up. You plug cable in, and all four of those TVs will have cable. That's, it's probably one of the easiest in the industry to hook up. So we can see that there. This one, of course, swings open just like so, and just as you would expect, right there is washer-dryer prep. Now, why do I love that? 
because most of the time in a lot of these fifth wheel toy haulers, your washer and dryer prep is going to be back in the garage. And for me, right, that's not where I want it. It's tough to get there. I really don't have a good spot to fold my clothes. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's going to be a, a area of congregation where people are hanging out between this main living space and back in the garage. And so I don't want it there. I want it up front just like it is. And as you can see from this angle, folks, this fusion is big, it is beautiful. It has all the space and amenities you need. And the best part about it, folks, is this one can be yours. All you have to do is text that word RV to 46642. Now, if this one's a little bit out of the budget, and I completely understand, right? We, we had the Rogue Armored, maybe that one's a little bit closer. Maybe you're looking for something even a little bit less. Folks, the great thing about being Camping World is that we have over 20,000 pieces on the lot, over 80,000 factory fresh coming from the manufacturer. And I promise you, one of those are going to fit your budget, your lifestyle, and your needs. And all you need to do to take advantage of that is text that word fresh to 46642 or drop fresh in the comment section below. Folks, there is so much more coming. Thanks for joining me on the Ultimate RV Show National Tour.